what's up beautiful people listen to Aroma. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video from dating right and it's titled the u.s wants to remove the, wants to remove the no fault divorce law and prevent paternity fraud women are pissed off hmm interesting i'm excited to hear what they've got to say on this one let's check it out all right, so those of you who are in Tennessee, guess what? House Bill 2689 is getting ready to pass. That is requiring paternity tests before you sign the birth certificate. They want to get rid of no-fault divorce, which means that the woman has to prove infidelity or abuse in order to get divorced. Yes. And with that being said, I have one little requirement. Just one little guy. Just one little thing. Oh, God. You gotta be rich. I told my boyfriend that I am pregnant and I needed money to abort the baby. But actually, I gave the money to another guy that I love. I never seen a man that I fing need. You're all replaceable. Don't ever get too comfortable and don't ever think otherwise. Hey, what's going on, good people? In this video, we're going to be discussing the fact that we are finally starting to see some changes come as far as state laws changing to give men some type of protection and i know you guys have heard about the no fault divorce law that they're trying to get rid of nationwide women are truly going to start feeling the pain so you know we definitely going to get into it and break it down i want to thank you guys ahead of time for hitting that subscribe button liking the video dropping a comment down below let's get into the review now they're going after your right to get a divorce. Oh, ladies, welcome to the consequences of your own actions. Like y'all say all the time, we're in a patriarchy. That men control everything and we have all the power. Well, if that's true, did you really think we were going to go on letting you make divorce or profit in mm. industry? We gave y'all power. And don't get it twisted. You didn't get it. We mm. gave it to you. But the problem is that power we gave you, you're abusing mm. it. As of now, women are initiating nearly 80% of the divorces. And the vast majority of them have no cause other than you want someone else. And that's fine. I think you should have the right to do that. But I also think that if you want a divorce without cause, you shouldn't get a dime. You should not financially benefit for breaking your vows because you were bored. <laughs> While I wish we could just make it so you get nothing when you leave, the courts would never allow that. So this is the next best thing. And ladies, look, I know you're not used to this thing called accountability, but I am very glad to see you're starting to enjoy listen i think his data is correct i've been researching it and women do initiate far more divorces than men so texas gop has added to its platform that they want to get rid of no fault divorce which means that the woman has to prove infidelity or abuse in order to get divorced and republicans all over the nation are pushing for this in other state legislatures so <laughs> I would advise young women today to not get married legally. Have a ceremony. Have a commitment with your partner. Have a nice wedding, whatever. But do not trap yourselves into the confines of the law with divorce. Because when we say that they're not going to stop with banning transgender care and getting rid of gay marriage and continuing to oppress people of color, they're not going to stop with marginalized groups. They are going to go after women, eventually men, but right now they're going after women. And banning no-fault divorce is the most ridiculous, fascist thing I've ever seen. It's another way to trap women. It's another way to control women. And so, honestly, as a 41-year-old divorced woman, to the young women of today, don't trap yourselves. Don't file the papers. Just be in love and have a commitment. Man, please. Men have been talking about this for years. You can have a wedding and a marriage. You just should not get your local states and county courts involved with that. You, you guys can make up your own contract. You know, an agreement with you and her that if something happens to you, you know, she can get power of attorney, you know, the finances or whatever. There's a separate bank account going to be put put aside for her, whatever she need, whatever you both need to feel comfortable. Just don't involve the government state in your marriage. It's really none of their business. All right. So those of you who are in Tennessee, guess what? House Bill 2689 is getting ready to pass. That is requiring paternity tests before you sign the birth certificate. 
um, because, you know, once when people do paternity tests, one third of the time, they end up not being the father. And if they start testing everybody, that number can only go up, not down. Um, <laughs> it's 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 going to be dramatic. And right now they're they're starting to also add in things like, you know, um, maternity fraud is a crime and a punishable crime. So uh, guys used to go to jail for not paying child support on a child that wasn't theirs because the state wants to get their money because if there is no father to pay for the child support somebody has to pay for it so they push it onto the nearest person that could be a father figure and they're actually starting to jail time the ladies for maternity fraud mm. because it is such a rampant crime so i don't agree with a lot that they do in politics but i agree with this one the hustle is over. The scams are done in the state of Tennessee. And I know some of y'all feel like, well, why should we have to do all of this? They should trust me. Because y'all be lying. Mm -hmm. The women be lying. Mm -hmm. And if you know that this is his baby without a shadow of a doubt, husband, boyfriend, baby daddy, it don't matter who it is. Let him go on and get that paternity test, sis. If you want to up and up, it shouldn't bother you. And for all of those women out there faking pregnancy, to scam men, ooh, y'all big mad now, ain't you? I think a lot of these ladies should be shaking in their boots right now, and I love to see it. Hearing that a lot of these laws may become nationwide, I know a lot of ladies are horrified that they'll be held accountable for their bad decisions and actions. What type of woman would lie to a man and say, you know, this is your baby and she know it's not his baby, but she have a man thinking that this child is, is his and it's not. It should be a law for these women to con men. They should be prosecuted as well and charged with fraud or something. Um, have you ever cheated? Well, the no for divorce, I, I'm in support of it because most of these ladies just come out here and they lie. They say um, they, they are bored of their marriage because somebody out there is telling them that uh, marriage has to be exciting. You have to feel all of the butterflies. Like, come on, there are good and bad days. But no, these ladies want it to be about them, 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 them. They, they, they get bored. They want to opt and leave their marriage when marriage is not that way. When what they say, when they know in their heart that they are get, getting divorced for the filthiest reason so yeah i'm in support of it so you have to prove because i mean these people just want to make up money off of the men and especially if the man have got more money they will just want to they just want to up and leave and get divorced and want to get early money so no you have to prove it is this it is that simple now let's even talk about paternity fraud because and maternity fraud yo i'm in support of it these ladies go out here the lie they get themselves pregnant by someone else and they put the pregnancy or put the baby or give the baby to someone else and someone else will be footing the bill for someone else's child no that is wrong it's all shades of wrong and it's now even a trend and that is what is, is even alarming so yeah i'm in support of it that the women who are doing this fraud or who are partakers of this fraud should go to jail is that simple because why give someone else your baby when you know it that is not the father of your child why why not give it to the right father of the child well of course these ladies don't want to be held accountable so of course so the other lady saying um people women shouldn't get married they shouldn't get married lawfully uh, married legally Ooh, they shouldn't get married legally are you sure you're telling the right people or they shouldn't get married of course she is divorced so she wants other people to be miserable as she is but no because of course now the, the law is not in favor of women so now she's suggesting something that will favor them but always these women always want something to always be at their benefit they will always want to claim victim it just don't make sense if you're not ready for a, a relationship or for a marriage then stay, remain single or stay single. Don't waste someone else's time. It's that simple. But yeah, let's go on. With fraud or something. Um, have you ever cheated? Yes. 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 Many times. I All the time. I have. Yes. Why? Because we're bad bitches and we need to show the world. So currently you have a main mm -hmm. and some side hoes. It's like background <laughs> characters. Some kind of. side hoes. Okay. Yeah. How many background hoes do you have? <laughs> I was just like maybe four. So so five guys total right now. 
Somewhat, that yeah. you're seeing. <laughs> so, fellas, it's your lucky day because I am, I am looking for a boyfriend. <laughs> yes. And with that being said, I have one little requirement. Just one little guy. Just one little thing. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be rich. <laughs> so how much did my divorce cost me? Well, this is a fantastic question. There's direct and there's indirect costs. Direct costs, I lost $106,000 out of my 401k retirement plan I spent 20 years contributing to. Wow. I also lost half the equity in the home, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, cash, and savings that I... They want to get rid of no-fault... So there's several states where Republicans are trying to get rid of no-fault divorce. If you're not familiar with no-fault divorce, this is the thing where you cite irreconcilable differences. Neither of us committed fraud, neither of us committed adultery or abuse or neglect, but we just don't want to be together anymore. So they're trying to get rid of that. Get rid of no-fault divorce, which means that the woman has to prove infidelity. But let me tell you why this is a problem, a, a big problem. Mm -hmm. As someone who just went through a very high conflict, six figure divorce in the state of Texas that was allegedly no fault, despite that there was infidelity involved that no one seemed to give a shit about. Did you hear what I just said? It was a no fault divorce. That means you're supposed to just split up the assets 50 50, right? Figure out what's going to happen with the kids. Like, it shouldn't cost six figures, right? Divorce is expensive. The only people who actually win in these situations are the attorneys, right? But what happens if you actually have to prove infidelity as a basis to be able to get a divorce? It's going to cost you even more money because now you have to go through the process of discovery to prove that there was infidelity because I don't know how many cheaters are out there like, yeah, I did it and... Sure, you may be able to recover some of your community property once you've done discovery, seen bank statements, maybe found those hidden credit cards. You're entitled to your 50% of the community property money that was spent on the hoe, right? But it's probably going to cost you just as much to find out how much was spent on the hoe by having to do discovery. So you're not really going to get anything out of it anyways, potentially. But I think the even bigger issue that is probably not being considered here is the emotional toll oh, this will take on women and men if they're the ones being cheated on, of course. When confronted with their credit card bills, uh, when you were supposed to be on a business trip, is this you at, at this hotel at this time with this person? And then maybe you have to sit through a deposition with a bitch. And then you hear this bitch talking about how she was having relations with your soon-to-be ex-husband. That shit is traumatic. So in addition to getting rid of no fault as a basis for divorce, divorce is going to become more expensive and more traumatic. Therapists better get ready and lawyers are about to cash in. Bullshit. And the fault. fact that permanent alimony was ever a thing is just mind-blowing. I knew about the alimony payments that people talked about, but I didn't know it was freaking forever. If they implement all these laws in 50 states nationwide, I bet we see a change in women's attitude exactly. instantly. I bet they start talking different, they start listening, they start trying to, they will be humbled very fast. Uh -huh. Looks like these women are going to learn what strong and independent is today. Men are glad to see these laws being put in place in several states, but this need to be in all 50 states. I'm going to close this video out right here. If you want to see more content, be sure to follow me on Dating Right Live. Make sure you hit that subscribe button like you hit on your favorite IG model. Like the video, drop a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Interesting. I'm in favor of this. I mean, you see ladies glamorizing or gl doing all of the glamour when early money is paid to them and all of that. And now the no fault divorce, they are out here crying, uh, ranting and all of that. Because of course, most of these ladies know what they are doing. They act or they claim like they don't know, but they always want to put the blame on somebody. Oh, they did this. Just one tiny little thing. They're already out the door, but they are looking for something that would pin it to say, oh, this is the reason. When sometimes it's just the filthiest reason these women are doing. 
I just I always say that marriage is not for children it's for people who are willing to put in the work because, but most of those ladies they don't want to put in the work they, they would sit somewhere and listen to one social media influencer or one podcaster or whatever that will tell them to leave their marriage or that their husband is not treating them right or whatnot and all of that and all of a sudden they get up to leave which don't make sense so yeah I'm in favor of these laws. So now these women will, will know what it means to be accountable. I mean, if you want to be strong, independent woman that don't need a man, then stay in your lane. But for those that say they want to, they need a man or they want to be with a man and they are not ready to put in the work or they just want the incentive or whatever benefit that comes with it, please, if that is your plan, stay one side or stay and move to the side of the strong, independent woman and let those who are willing to put in the work or who are willing to be married be married it is that simple but of course since these women don't want to be held accountable then this would work for them but yeah i'm sure tons of people have got an opinion regarding this and i really love your honest contribution to this you can share the useful information and think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video